Sauce to episode 53. Can't as, take it. As Nick can't put handle it, this. S2E1. E01. Nice. We did it, buns. Episode yeah. 2 of season 1. Channel 1. That's not a channel. Yeah. Yes. Fuck this show. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Burn it to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really hope there's like a cheesy fire. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Uh, you can put that in post. Yeah. Put it in post. That Even if there's like a watermark over it, I'm putting it in <laughs> Is it stupid? Check. Check. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, cool. So, how was everyone's new year? Because I was fucking... I, ooh. <laughs> it's a new year for us. It's like the flavorful new year. You know how Chinese have their own new year? We've established our own calendar. Yeah. It's We're June, whatever the fuck. We're on our website that doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> what are we reviewing today? We are reading what? books, oh, Buns. Right. Why don't you thing. calm down? Yeah. Fucking Buns is like so like eager to fucking... Are you being paid it? by Kevin and Rob? Is that what's going on? Are they like paying you for this shit? Because oh, oh, I'm not getting paid. What the fuck, man? You're kind of getting paid. Nah, dude. Not for this. Never for this. <laughs> <laughs> I get paid for little, you know, little jabs on the side. <laughs> uh, jabs. <laughs> Whoa. So, okay, here, we'll, we'll review. It's just a matching stadium comments. Like, Ricky does not do anything to <laughs> imagine he does versus stadium comments. This is a lie. The uh, corporation that is stadium comments. Sure, yes. they're getting way too... They have this, this shop in Puerto Rico. It's, like, so shady right now. El Stadio. <laughs> you know, all they sell is, like, Pele cards and shit. <laughs> that's it, that's it, man. Pele. Anyways... <laughs> So, yeah. Spider-Man issue two, if you remember back in uh, Flavorful Past, Ghost of Flavorful Past, two weeks ago, <laughs> oh, yeah. we talked about, <laughs> talk about Spider-Man number one and how it would probably be better in the second issue, and I think we were right, this issue was way better. I really liked it. I was issue. still kind of, eh. Why does this exist? What? what? It's okay. Did you feel like that the first time? One, yeah. Two, kind of. What? <laughs> But no, like it, like it's fine. It's funny. It's a well-written Spider-Man book. But just like, why? What does this serve anybody? Friends, you like it? It's, it's an interesting a, diversion, but it's it's a fun crossover. Yeah. What more do you need? Yeah, it just I don't, uh, I don't need it. This book actually made me want to punch Peter Parker in the face. Like I really hated him in this. Like, really? yeah, because, like, Miles Morales is like, oh, let me look at his mask. He's like, no, you fucking bitch. He throws him, and then he takes off his mask. And I was like, yeah, what a fucking dick. And you just see Miles, he's like, no, no. And I'm like, no, please. I'm like, no, I'm like, you like, I yeah, literally, yeah. like, wanted to jump in the comic and fucking punch Peter Parker. Yeah, I didn't quite understand what the point like, of Why that are you such an was. asshole? Yeah. And it's like, out of nowhere, he just starts fighting Miles Morales. I was like, what? Oh, I, like, literally, Peter Parker, I wanted to punch him in the face. Like, wanted to get in there. Like, how disrespectful can you be <laughs> to some guy you just met? Fucking douche. Fucking pissing Wow, I'm me. really surprised that you said yeah, no, I don't no, know. Man. That just angered me. I didn't that. know this was a thing in, like, WWF when <laughs> they try to take off the mask off the of Luchador wrestler. He's like, no! Why are you doing this? He's not supposed to be. No, but if... He should understand. That's if he good. if he didn't want his mask to be taken off, he should respect the, the wishes. Yeah, I didn't quite understand the point of writing that and then doing it anyway. Uh, it just made him so angry. Come on, bro. I guess because he tried to do his. I don't know. It was like... It was done. It was done. It just made him pissed. But uh, overall, I liked it. I it <laughs> I, like, it's overall, funny, except but, for that thing yeah. that made me want to burn. <laughs> burn <laughs> all the books. Yeah. And everything to the ground. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. I like just, it's, it's so, like it, I I don't know. I have no problem with anything Brian Michael Bendis writes. I just don't. Need so it are in you my excited? Life. Are you gonna pick up issue three? No. If we review it, I'll read it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I liked it. I think I'm gonna subscribe. This is in my pull box now. Well, there's only like 
Two more weeks, three more weeks. I like how Especially they're handling the whole progression of Spider-Man goes into this other universe where there's a different Spider-Man. He starts learning what the fuck's going on. Mysterio shows up. Who else? Speaking of Mysterio, that's badass. Yeah, that costume yeah, is that like bad. That Android clone? Yeah. That's fucking awesome. He's just like... He's like... He's got like, a rocket launcher. For, he only appears in two scenes. The beginning Sick. and the end. And, I don't know... They really just solidify him as an and awesome like, villain here. Mysterio is like a little bitch. But usually, then his, yeah. I usually like his Mysterio, robot. though. He's so like, he's so like, yeah, he's so like trapped in like so another like era. Yeah, I was like, who are but you? But at the same time, like, I, I don't know, I like Mysterio. I don't know, it's weird. Like, he's cool, but like his costume is just like, wow. I like See, but I, I like the costume. I like how, like, dated and, like, poor it's it It's like him and, like, the shocker. It's like, he's like a <laughs> pineapple. And it's like, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah, you pineapple. And he's like, hey. Well, that's why you have, like, the <laughs> ultimate version of Mysterio. He's like, citrus juice. <laughs> That'd be a pretty good move. Citrus shocker. <laughs> One thing about Mysterio is that, like, like, he's a cool villain. Like, his whole shtick and everything. But, like, he he's always becomes a joke. I yeah, don't know. He, he doesn't have a lot of, he's like, He's one of those tricks. villains that hasn't really had a big yeah. moment He's almost shine. like, you know, when you go to L.A. and you meet those, like, people who are, like, 50 and they tried to make it, but then L.A. just chewed him up and spit <laughs> him out. And now they're like, yeah, man, I'm still hip and cool, and they have, like, a balding, like, fucking scully going on. That's, that's one hell of an that, analogy. That's so mysterious. I was going to compare him to, like, Wile E. Coyote, <laughs> but that works, too, I guess. <laughs> nah, dude, he's a chewed up, old, failed... But Wiley e. Coyote is like endearing by his failing, and he's endearing too by his failing. And how like although out of place he looks to me. <laughs> well, hey, I used to think that that crystal ball was actually his head. Really? Yeah. I was like, man, he's a freak. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what kind of mutation he had. Fucking dunked his head in radioactive. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fish ball. No. Same with the same with the uh, hammerhead. Was his name? Yeah, what a stupid villain. Yeah. Is. Well, fucking retarded. See, no, the the general <laughs> idea kind of makes sense. Okay, he has a really like a <laughs> mutated hard skull. So stupid. But then when you actually have him like running <laughs> towards dumb. people, it's head like first, you serve so no like, other purpose uh, but your names. Yeah, I thought he just had like really strong gel, and he's just like gel hair. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just a freak. Anyways, well, yeah, yeah. Fuck, yeah. fuck Hammerhead. Anyway, hey, fuck hey, hey. Final word for all the for hammerheads me. out there. The Spider Man, it's fun. You like you like crossovers? Yeah, See, that's right. my thing. I don't like I don't like crossovers. That's true. You don't. Yeah. So, so why you didn't like the Doctor Who book? Fuck you, think. And I think Did Nick's life is like... a little bit poor for it. Yeah, that's that's, that's true. Bit poor for but it. moving on <laughs> to uh, <laughs> Nick's life being poor for it. Yeah. We have Nick's uh, letter of resignation from his work. Uh, but I hate that job. <laughs> no. I don't even know where that came we, from. We got Hit Girl number one yeah. coming out this week. Uh, Mark Millar in his Millar world. Uh, Millar. So this follows Kick Ass 2, so this is essentially Kick Ass 3. Yeah. More or less. Two and a half. I don't know. And I'm surprised at the uh, the amount of time between Kick Ass 2 ending and this coming out. Usually Mark Millar is like, fuck yeah, I come out. How many years am I as it going to be before this comes out? years later, I don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, what do you guys think? <coughs> I really I, enjoyed it. I really wish I didn't like it. Why? <laughs> because A, the second one was pretty meh. Yeah. And B, it took forever for it to come out. Are you just afraid so you just your heart broken yeah, again? Yeah, you just I don't want to go yeah. through that again, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> See, but Mark Miller, he just yeah. the way he writes is just so engaging and just so good that you just can't Some balls help. to the walls, I guess. You can't fucking help it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think for a lot, either you like his stuff or you just like. I think. Why is he big? Why does anyone like him? I don't know. I don't understand. I think I he's contacted a, a witch angry. doctor and they've been enchanted a pen that he has and he writes with. Just write and, crazy shit. Yeah, it's it. fucking crazy. Maybe he just does a lot of drugs. Like I, Stephen I, King. I did that. Who knows? So what? obviously by the title it focuses on Hit Girl. How do, what? How do you think about that? Uh, I like. I the, think Hit Girl is like the most interesting character mm -hmm. in the yeah, fucking entire much. series, so it's great. Yeah. That and unlike them. unlike all the other cool character and side characters in like other books, she's actually able to carry it herself. Yeah, yeah. because uh, there's so much to her that it's like, like the life she has led up to that point. Like even in the very first issue we read, there's like multiple scenes to like when she was being trained, and they're all cool and interesting. 
And, I, yeah, and, and like, like, they can keep doing that whenever they need to. Like, the thing that I like most about her character is, like, most of those people, mm-hmm. when they're growing up and reminiscing at their past, I'm like, man, those were tough fucking times. I hated them. But they made me the play- person I was. She, she's like, yeah, that fucking shit, I fucking love it. I want to keep doing it. Yeah. I, wanna, oh, I yeah. am who I am. Because that shit was... <laughs> That's her cutting off someone's yeah. head. Nice mm-hmm. thing. And I really like how this one shows her her weakness, which is the other girls in the school, right? And well, she's she just like, yeah, I, I should be a normal kid. Well, no, but she there's that scene where she's at the grave, and she's like, I can't, I can't handle this. These people are like, I should be able to. I kill men with my bare hands, <laughs> yeah. but I can't. The fuck? I don't understand. Yeah, which is good. It shows a little vulnerability, a little character development. Also shows yeah. sort of the, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? The sort of ugliness to the situation she's lived. It's like, yeah, her dad trained her to be a superhero, but at the same time, she's, like, kind of completely, like, detached from normal. Yeah, true. Right? Yeah, from normal. Like, she literally yeah. couldn't be a normal girl. No. And maybe that's kind of hindered her own social skills, like, period. Like, mm-hmm. kind of stunted her growth a bit. It, it's an interesting thing to see. And uh, John Romita Jr.'s stuff is, like, it's it fits this so well. Like, when he was doing yeah. ABX, like, 1 to 5 or whatever, I was like, eh. Uh, yeah, there's too many like specific characters yeah. he has to draw, and he's like, I can't do that. He's like, I can't handle it. But this, he's good in this, and just the the coloring, I think too. I don't know if he's the colors. Yeah, but it's so good. Everything yeah. about his book, fucking good. It's it's good. It's good. Yeah, Bag it. subscribe. Like, yeah, I probably will. <laughs> I already <laughs> subscribed like right. way before you douchebags. <coughs> Feel good about that. I do actually. Yeah. Sometimes I look at the subscriptions and I'm like, yeah, I'm, the I'm first better one. than all of these people because I'm buying. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Well, some of us can't do that. I'm fucking so fucking hip right now because I bought this way before anyone else did. I knew it was gonna be cool. Yeah, dude. Pretty much. Nice. Well, can you say you're the? Does it count if you buy? Like, you're the everything. only person buying one thing in the store that nobody else gets. As long as it's good, yeah. yeah so profit, yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Moving on to uh, another back. We yeah, have. Kirk. We have Night Owl, not written by Darwin. Yeah, Cook. we're still doing it. We have we're before watch written Night Owl, uh, not not the Brian Azzarello book, which by the way is a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, not written by Darwin <coughs> Cook. What? I thought they all were. <laughs> the Jay- Brian Azzarello one, still Darwin Cook. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, J. Michael Straczynski, who did uh, Superman Earth One. Yeah. 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 He did other books. Superman Walks. Did he do that? <laughs> Or is that a great no, 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 I did. Yeah. No, I just like saying. The <laughs> one where <laughs> Superman <laughs> just walks. You know, <laughs> like, uh, so, what did you guys think of this before the watch? Uh, like the first few pages of it, I wasn't as interested in it yeah. as like the other books, where I was kind of immediately <clears> jumping <throat> into it. But like as it progressed and you started to get a little more into it, I yeah, kind of yeah. started to enjoy the book a lot. I really like, and I liked how this one shows you a lot more of the other Watchmen or yeah. like the other people in the book. I'm like, yeah, that's good. You see Rorschach and Dr. Manhattan, and you're like, yeah, the gang's all together, yeah. I don't know if, like, that was the way I thought Rorschach and Night Owl would, like, team yeah, up. Yeah, that was a little It weird. was just kind of... Yeah. I don't know. Just, I thought that actually kind of made like, it Like, it makes sense, but it's so, like, just, oh, okay. Yeah, it was almost like Rorschach saying, hey, friend, do you want to be my friend? He's like, I guess. Yeah, yeah but he does that by completely sneaking up on him. Oh, in his own ship. And I think yeah. they overuse that harm thing. Harm, harm. Oh, it's like, dude, he says it like every single sentence. It's like, whoa, yeah. man, chill out. I don't know. I'm, I think Maybe it's to show how much so, uh, that Rorschach changed between now and then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His decrease in Herms. Yeah. He's become more. <laughs> he's social. actually becoming he's, more human. He's by become more domesticated to human life because of Night Owl. You've changed me, Night Owl. I mean, <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello, Fancy. Hello there, gentlemen. How are you doing? I gotta say, when before Watchmen was announced, I was pretty mad on the whole thing. But the one thing, the one thing I thought could work was showing the team up between Rorschach and Night Owl. Yeah. Just, I just want to see them being up criminals. That's true. It doesn't need to be any big well, plot line. You should have played the fucking before Watchmen game. No, it wasn't before. Watchmen. I heard that was pretty bad. It was pretty bad, but you could be. Rorschach, Night Owl. Yeah, but it's a story. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't game. matter. Mm-hmm. If the gameplay is just you running around punching people, how <laughs> is that any different from Yeah, other? me and Nick played it, and we just walked around like this the whole time. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Everybody do the dance. <laughs> so 
Because he could like grapple and you just flick him off like that. But then like the game completely broke yeah, and we couldn't hell? finish it. There yeah. was like a gate we had to open and then it and just wouldn't. It never opened. Yeah, and we never played it again. I was again. like, what the fuck, man? And Five hours of her life. <laughs> yeah, I was stupid. I only bought it for the movie. It came with a movie. Yeah. 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 It's good. It's good. But, uh, <laughs> but um, I thought it was a little like heavy handed what he was doing with the uh, Silk Spectre. Where at night I walked in, he's like, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna fuck this bitch. I thought we were fucking related. I thought we were gonna be soulmates. Come on! Get And it's like, oh, like, shit! Yeah. yeah, like it was pretty. Yeah, I kind of. We were meant to be. Oh, it like, it's like, like we know it's gonna like, happen. Like, you don't need to do this. Like, yeah. come on. It was a little strange that that would happen. Like, yeah, like that was the biggest problem with like, the book is like fuck. those insertions of the moments you knew about were just like, really? That's, yeah. that's it? Like, okay. Or, like, you gotta take that scene and then just turn around. So, yeah, this so like, is, like, we can't do an interesting conference. way to do it. So, he's gonna walk in the room and then Rorschach's gonna be there. They're gonna high five <laughs> and continue on. Yeah. But I don't know. That was still pretty good. Uh, out of all, all of the Watchmen, there's a little bit four of you so far, right? Yeah, there's four so far. Fuck. What was, uh, <coughs> what was your favorite? Was this best? Uh, second best? Mm. I think we should reserve that until we've read we all of them. Okay, well, the compared to the four, to date, I still really like Minutemen. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I mean, Comedian's really cool because of where it could go, but like overall, Minutemen was the one I enjoyed the most. I don't know for a first issue. Mm. Uh, either Night Owl or Minutemen. I'm not sure which one. No, fuck it. I'm gonna go with uh, So Expected. Just because. Oh no, that was actually because of those like '50s yeah, it was little. Who's good? Who's get? I'm excited. Because of the one. Although, although. Now I see the resemblance. <laughs> yes. No. But although, uh, when Osmandius comes out, I think that's going to be my favorite. Fucking, this game's so good. It Who's might writing be. that? I have no idea. It doesn't matter. All I well, know is. when we read it. Jay Lee is doing the art. Have you seen his fucking art? He's touching me. It's well, so he's done. He's done the, the Dark Tower. Which oh, okay. Blew my so mind. That's, that's your thing. Yeah, dude. Fuck. I don't know who Jay Lee is. you know who Jay Lee is? That's and why I asked to hear <laughs> anything else he's done. Dude, I don't think I've so, ever seen so the, the Dark Dude. Tower. Oh, Dark Tower. Dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> so out of all three books this week, which one would you pick up? Hit Girl. Whoa. Hit Girl. <laughs> Hit Girl and Spider-Man. Ooh, yeah. I'll go with Hit Girl first, then Spider-Man, then Night Owl. Hit Girl, Night Owl. But Night Owl and Spider-Man are really fucking close. <laughs> That was a good first That was good. One. No, no, good no. Job. Don't encourage. Yeah. yeah. Don't encourage this. Dude, three more. Yeah. 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 Let, 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 let me try one. Let me try one. Was that good? Did, did I do a good job? Come on. I'm good to critique. What the fuck? What are we doing, though? <laughs> These guys. These guys. I am opening for a new call for new flavorful reviewers. Wow. And you guys fucking... <laughs> Email me at fucking bootyquake at gmail.com. So that's fucking bootyquake. <laughs> is there an underscore between the fucking? No, no, no. Okay. It's like F-U-K-C. Is it all? Um, yeah, and it's like ro- uh, <coughs> alternating capital and lowercase. So it's sweet. <laughs> it's booty say in any particular way. Yeah, is it? Bootay, T-A-Y. Oh, okay. And then quake is spelled like, you know, like quake. Yeah, quake. It's regular quake. Yeah. <laughs> My uh, picture is the quick notes guy. <laughs> he's, got, he's got booties in his face. He's just I like, even... <laughs> booty quick, booty quick. Anyways. It's a gif of some chick like shaking her ass it's and looking quaker. to the camera, and then it's the Quaker Hoats face. <laughs> just like, yeah! I saw the booty best quaker. gif this week. It was uh, Carly Rae Jepsen. Nice. It was, uh, here's my number... <laughs> And six 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 hail Satan, and like they just slams the background and a pentagram on her face. It's amazing. I'll show you guys after. That's good. Right. That's good. Anyways, you get, get off topic. Get, get off topic. Off topic. So, of the ending. Yeah, man. The ending's the best part of the show. That's what I. I think it. it's my favorite part of the week. It's true. When this is over. <laughs> oh, you fucking dick. I'm joking. I'm looking for one new flame flow reviewer. Yeah, yeah I'm booty back quake. And yeah. 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 yeah, fucking booty quake. Or you can always Twitter me and I'd be like, uh, alright, so, so we done? I have nothing pick else up, to... Pick up Night Owl number one, Spider-Man number one, two. number two. Or number one, if you can find it. Both. I'm sure there's a second Yeah, that's funny. And uh, Hit Girl number uno. So we'll review number two in about seven months. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. 
Alright, everybody, on three, one, two, three. Flavorful sauce.